Okay, today we're going to go over the wiring for the 400 series unit. Um, this is a four channel unit and I'll just go over the wiring and the included harness. Um, if you'll notice, this comes with a few wires connected. Um, first thing we're going to go over is the power. Uh, the power portion should be this cable here. Uh, the power cable has a butt connector on one end and uh, scully connectors, or scully pins on both ends. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, locate your vehicle battery and connect the power wire to the vehicle battery using the butt connector. Um, that's going to go back to the vehicle's battery and hopefully within about 18 inches of that battery you should have an inline fuse located there. Um, once you get that connected, you're simply going to take the uh, pin and connect it to the center terminal on the top left terminal block for the power. Positive. Just going to snug that down and that should be pretty much it for the power portion. Um, the next thing we're going to go on to is going to be your ground. Um, the ground cable comes with a scully pin on one end, which will go into the terminal block, and a small butt connector on one side and a larger butt connector on the other side. The small butt connector will go to your ground source. The larger yellow butt connector will go to the camera's ground. So what you're going to do once you find a good ground source, you're going to take your scully pin and just connect it into the third terminal on the terminal block. And tighten that down. And that should pretty much be it for the ground portion. Now the next portion we're going to go over is going to be the ignition source. Now this is going to be the yellow cable. Again, it's going to have a pin on one end, but connector on the other end. And what you're going to want to do is find a switch source from the vehicle's fuse box. Uh, it can be anything that's going to turn on and off with the vehicle. What that will do is that will also turn the unit on and off with the vehicle as to not drain your battery. So once you've found that switch source, you're going to go ahead and insert your pin into the first terminal in the terminal block, that's for ignition, and then go ahead and tighten that down. Now the power and ignition source should be done for the unit, and really the only thing left to do is to connect the power for the cameras. Now the power for the cameras is going to come from this second scully pin on the red cable. Now that cable is going to go into the left side of the small terminal block that you see on the bottom right. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that in there, snug that in, and that's going to supply power to the cameras. Uh, what this is, is basically the activator functions as a relay that will turn the cameras on and off with the vehicle or with the iRide. Um, you can also turn the cameras on and off with the software. Now the power that's going to go to the cameras is going to be the last cable that you have here, which is the red cable with the scully pin on one end and the large yellow butt connector on the other end. Now this large yellow butt connector will connect to the power for the cameras. You'll stick all four of your power for the cameras into there, and all four of the ground for the cameras will go into the, uh, the ground cable that I showed you earlier. All right, so all that's left really is to connect this last pin into the second port on the left-hand side of the small terminal block on the bottom right of the i -ride. So go ahead and tighten that down, and that will supply power to the cameras uh, via this large butt connector here. So you'll have your black and your red, and that will be power for your cameras. So that's pretty much it regarding the wiring. It's very simple. Everything's uh, pretty much straightforward. And yeah, that's about it.